and we're live guys welcome to this kind of emergency to this kind of public announcement stream which i didn't plan to do when i woke up today but because we saw this crazy action in number one tether and then number two bitcoin number three the entire crypto space i thought it was important to still discuss the issue and outline the connection between the price of tether and the price of bitcoin because you realize that those two prices are highly connected and a decline in the price of Tether can in fact trigger an increase in the price of Bitcoin and kind of even lead to a FOMO train in Bitcoin. So I think you will learn a lot in this video because you will learn how different exchanges list prices and why it's so important for you to understand the difference between USD and USDT. And also we're going to talk about Bitfinex because Bitfinex is a very special exchange when it comes to Tether. And I have some thoughts, I have some opinions that I want to share with you that I want to discuss with you as well. So hopefully we will all work together and hopefully I also want to hear your opinions on everything I say as always, which you can leave in the description or in the comments or in the live chat. Uh, and then we're also going to discuss why this pump is in a way dangerous, because in my opinion, it is in a way artificial. It is not real. And so we're going to discuss that. And if you are excited, guys, as always, smash those likes. Don't forget that. And let me also know what you drink because today is, uh, uh, I mean, currently it's 8 uh, p.m. here in Stockholm, Sweden, and we're drinking tea. Black tea, let me know what you're drinking. So, okay, let's start from the beginning. If you look at the crypto markets today, you see the following situation, that everything is up uh, except Tether, except Tether. Tether is down. And uh, actually, when I did the stream this morning, when I did Good Morning Crypto this morning, I didn't really know about this because I woke up and I, and I did the Good Morning Crypto without really looking into the markets too much because that is how I do. I wake up and I do Good Morning Crypto. I don't really update myself in the morning too much because I don't have time <laughs> because I do it so early. And so people started to write, you know, take a look at Tether, take a look at Bitcoin. And yes, in fact, when I finished Good Morning Crypto, this looks very interesting because you see that Tether is down and every everything else is up and everything is kind of a mirror image of Tether. I mean, all the movement in Tether is basically mirrored and you see the mirror image here in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies follow Bitcoin. And so, of course, this got me thinking and everyone was also freaking out on uh, Twitter and on social media. And so something we have to look at, first of all, is why, uh, why Tether decreases in value. Because it is kind of losing its peg to the US dollar. As you remember, Tether is a stable coin. It is pegged to the US dollar and it should, in theory, be worth one US dollar. That is the whole idea of Tether. However, if you just look lately, I mean, just the past 24 hours, really, you see this huge dip in price. It just, you know, it plummets down. And today we reached uh, low numbers such as 94 cents, even below 90 cents on some exchanges. And so why is it so? Well, there are several explanations. One explanation is fake news because you saw, for example, box mining talking about this fake uh, uh, Binance email. Basically, someone did fake news and sent out this picture where Binance is basically telling that they are delisting. Tether and they are delisting Tether pairs from their exchange. This turned out to be fake. And also you see it says <laughs> Tether big scam as if Binance would write such a thing in their emails that you know what we're, we're, <laughs> we're delisting Tether because it is big scam guys. So it, this could be an explanation. Another explanation is of course that people are losing trust in Tether. But whatever the explanation is, uh, Tether went down in price. That is the important message and that is the important message to understand understand right now. It went down. Whether it was because of this FUD, fake news, or whether it is because people are losing trust or probably a combination of those two events, uh, Tether went down in price and is currently not one dollar. It is below one dollar still. And so th this is the first thing we need to understand. Now, the second thing we need to understand, truly really understand the whole picture, is that different exchanges list Bitcoin prices in different ways. So this is very important because some people don't understand this. They look at coin market cap. They just look here at coin market cap and they see the Bitcoin price in dollars. 
And so they think that the Bitcoin price is uh, all about USD, it's, it's dollar price, all right? And so this is where the confusion comes in and this is where the confusion really needs to be clarified. And so this is really why I'm doing this stream because if you actually click on the price right here, you see, uh, you, you see the different uh, trading pairs on different exchanges. And you see that some of them are BTC USD like here, Bitfinex, and Bitfinex is special in this case, we're going to discuss that later on. But you see also here, for example, BTC GPY. Uh, so some of them are linked to fiat and some of them are linked to USDT. So this is the important thing to understand. And a, a pattern you start to notice is that whenever Bitcoin is linked to USDT, the price is a bit lower. So for example, you see Coinbase Pro, BTC, USDT. So here is the price of Bitcoin in US dollars and it is 6.4 thousand. And uh, here you see BTC, USDT. So BTC is linked to USD Tether and it is 6.6 thousand. And this is a common thing you see across exchanges. Exchanges that list prices in Bitcoin, uh, sorry, exchanges that list Bitcoin prices in US dollar will today on average have a lower price compared to exchanges that list prices uh, in USDT, in Tether. Well, why is it so? It's very simple. It's very simple, guys, because one Tether is worth less than one dollar. So as of today, we just discussed the fact that one Tether is worth less than one dollar and it is just natural that Bitcoin prices that are in Tether will be higher than Bitcoin prices that are in dollar. Because Tether and dollar are two different things. They are supposed to be the same thing. They are supposed to have the same value, but they don't. So this is the first, the second real thing we need to understand that if an exchange is listing the Bitcoin price in USDT, in Tether, and USDT has a value that is lower than one dollar, it is just natural for that exchange to have a higher Bitcoin price, okay? So this is quite important to understand because many people don't realize it. They just watch the price here on CoinMarketCap and they see it in dollars and they don't think about the fact that it is an average of dollar prices but also of tether prices. Uh, and whenever you see a dump in Tether, the exchanges th that list Bitcoin prices in Tether will of course uh, uh, increase in value because uh, the numbers will increase because uh, Tether is worth less. It's not that Bitcoin is increasing in dollars, it's because Tether is losing against the dollar. So this is why you see the difference between different exchanges. Now, the interesting thing, the interesting thing is Bitfinex because you see Bitfinex is also uh, saying that they are listing Bitcoin in the US dollar. So you see BTC USD pair. However, this is also uh, in my view, and this is where we might disagree and I invite all opinions, whatever you think, let me know. But in my view, this is false. To say that Bitfinex is actually showing prices in the US dollar is false. And the first evidence is that uh, Bitfinex prices are way higher than all other prices. And we mentioned that when Tether decreases, uh, uh, exchanges that list cryptocurrency prices in Tether, those prices will increase because uh, one Tether is worth less than one dollar. Uh, so th that is the first thing that made me personally suspicious. Now, the second thing that made me suspicious is if you go to their uh, kind of support uh, page, uh, they write the following. They are explaining uh, what tethers are. So Bitfinex is basically telling their customers, guys, this is what tether is. This is what, uh, uh, what they are used for. And they are saying that, you know what? Each tether is backed one to one by traditional currency held in tethers limited reserves. Accordingly, one USD tether is always equivalent to one USD. And this is false. This is how it should be in theory. In practice, it is completely false because you see that tether is not 
one USDT if you look at coin market cap if you look at the different uh, prices of tether on all different exchanges it is not one dollar the only the only place where it is one dollar is Bitfinex and there is not even uh, I mean it, Bitfinex will always be one dollar for um, for tether because they are the exchange behind tether but in on all other places tether is below one dollar currently which means which means that I can buy cheap Tether on, for example, Huobi or some other exchange. I can buy cheap Tether. I can transfer it to Bitfinex. And then Bitfinex will give me $1, which in turn, which in turn makes their dollar values for cryptocurrencies completely skewed. Because... It is not one dollar. If I can get one dollar by giving you one tether, I'm, I mean, I'm practically getting cheap dollars because I can get cheap tether on other exchanges below a dollar and then give it to Bitfinex and get one dollar. And so, of course, in that sense, I think the fact that uh, that Bitfinex s say that they are uh, listing the Bitcoin price in USD is uh, flaw is flawed in my view. It is flawed uh, because. Uh, one USD is not equal to one USDT as they claim in their support uh, uh, documents. So, to summarize, we had a decrease in Tether, which in turn made the cryptocurrency prices that are listed in Tether to go up, because now Tether is worth less than a dollar, and co uh, consequently the prices will go up. Uh, but it doesn't mean that the prices are higher in dollars it just means that the tether is weaker against the dollar and therefore it kind of creates this fake increase in price because if you if you look at coin market cap coin market cap will tell you that the price is actually increasing because coin market cap does not uh, take only the dollar prices coin market cap takes the dollar prices and tether prices and i suppose they make some kind of average number out of everything and so when people log into coin market cap they see that bitcoin is pumping they see that bitcoin is increasing in value which in turn leads to a fomo train and this is something i've seen on twitter this is something i've seen on linkedin people are happy that Bitcoin is going up and of course they are now more willing to invest because some people even say it is a new bull market. And you know what? I'm also happy because Bitcoin is going up. At the same time, I'm realizing that this pump is artificial because prices that are in Tether are not, do not reflect the actual increase in price. They reflect a decrease in the value of Tether. So this is important to understand. But because you still see green numbers on coin market cap, some people are jumping on the FOMO train. Some people think that we actually see a legit increase in prices and they want to buy, which in turn, which in turn kind of leads to actual increase in prices. Because this false price created by the decrease in tether actually creates FOMO. And this is true. I've seen this on social media today all day. It actually creates FOMO. And uh, people are starting to invest more and more because they think that the trend is, uh, is turning. And this is really the thing I wanted to communicate to you today. Uh, and I hope you understood and followed my, followed my thought process. And also, I would love to hear your opinions. I would love to hear your opinions. Uh, Kevin Cornwell says, Ivan, the price of Tether should never change. You are not explaining how it changes. Uh, well, you, you realize that uh, the price of Tether can change. It's all about the trust to Tether. I mean, Tether are saying that uh, uh, each coin is backed by one US dollar. This is what they're saying. However, if the market, as you can see here, all the different markets where Tether is traded, uh, uh, where Tether is traded against... Uh, other stable coins, for example, you realize that in the market, it is actually lower currently. Because if people are dumping Tether, the supply of Tether becomes too much on the market, the demand is too small, and of course, the price decreases. So it is simple, supply and demand. And of course, Tether can decrease in price 
if the supply is too big and the demand is not big. But of course, the uh, the idea is that this should never happen. I mean, this should never happen because if people really believe in Tether, if they really believe that Tether actually has backing for each coin, they would of course buy Tether as soon as it drops below a dollar because they will think for themselves, uh, now Tether is below a dollar and I truly believe in Tether, they have the backing and therefore of course it is a good deal for me if I can buy Tether below a dollar and then give it to Tether and get one dollar back, for example. So this is how it should be. But when the trust is lacking, when the trust is not there and Tether goes below a dollar, well, no one is buying it at that time because no one is believing that it is actually worth one dollar. So it's all about trust and it's all about simple market dynamics. Uh, remember the massive iron pump on Binance a few weeks back. Okay, uh, where can you actually sell Tether and receive real dollar on your bank account? Good question. Good question. This is this is why there is so little trust in Tether and why people are mistrusting Tether because I personally haven't seen anyone do it. I personally haven't seen anyone take one Tether and get a dollar for it. And I don't know where you do it. I mean... The official version is that, for example, Bitfinex, uh, when you insert a, a Tether token into Bitfinex, they have the connection to the to the Tether bank account and basically Tether will give them one dollar. So th this is the official version. But I haven't seen anyone actually, you know, taking their US USD Tether and getting a dollar. Maybe you have seen, let, <laughs> let, let us know. Because if you have seen that, then yes, it will create more trust. No question about that. Uh, price of Tether was above and below $1 countless times. Ivan, lol. Yes, uh, so the price of Tether has fluctuated, but not as much as today. I mean, the the movement of today is not your regular uh, vo volatility in Tether. Because as I mentioned, it went below 90 cents on some exchanges. And this is not uh, common at all. This is not common at all. The last time we saw this huge volatility was when Bitfinex had issues with their exchange and it was some months, uh, months back, but this is not normal, uh, normal at all. Bitfinex is supposed to do that for you. Yeah, exactly. So this is what I meant when I, when I said that, you know, when you insert your Tether, I mean, the official version is that Bitfinex will switch it to USD on, on the back uh, backend. No audit says not enough dollars, says John Crypto, uh, 82. You know, maybe. I mean, uh, if, if there is a, listen, if there is a audit and they have all the backing and everything is transparent, wonderful. I mean, I would love that. I would be the first one to do a stream and tell everyone how beautiful it is. Um, and so this is quite important to realize that, I mean, everyone would love for Tether to actually be completely audited and completely transparent. Uh, how is Tether USD? Uh, so Gary, if you want an explanation about Tether USD, just rewatch this video. We already covered everything. Uh, Ivan, why not test that in a live stream? Buy one USD and sell it back and yeah, I mean, how do I do that? <laughs> <laughs> that is the thing. I don't think there is any way to do that for a normal person. Maybe you need to be an institution. Maybe you need to be their business partner to actually be able to do this conversion. You know what? Uh, I will do more research on it. If there is a way for me to actually give them a tether and they give me dollars, it's wonderful. But at the same time, uh, I as a private individual, of course, I cannot really test the robustness of the system because, you know, if I come with one tether and receive one dollar, it doesn't really say anything because I can do it as well. I mean, if you give me some kind of token, I can pick out, you know, one dollar from my back pocket and uh, and you will believe that all of my millions are backed, all of my millions, of, hundreds of millions of tokens are backed. Well, you wouldn't. So, although it would be a fun experiment, I don't think it is enough. I don't, I don't think it is enough. Uh, Ivan Ontek, you're awesome, says Vinny. Thank you so much, Vinny. Really appreciate it. Uh, please, why use Tether or, or other stable currency pegged to national currency? Uh, why not use G D D DJX backed by gold? I don't really see your point, Fat Zero, because if it is backed by gold, we need to trust that they have gold. Maybe it is better than it, that it is backed by gold and not um, 
fiat because gold is more stable than fiat and has it doesn't have uh, all of the issues that the normal fiat systems have but the trust issue is still there all right guys this is really it i don't want this stream to get too long because then people will not click on the stream on the video if it is like 40 minutes thank you so much for watching leave what you think in the comments because it is a very relevant topic we need to discuss it uh, i have explained to you my thoughts and i have explained to you also why i do not agree that um, Bitfinex should be naming their pair usd i think they should change it to usdt because i cannot you know, look at this and then also look at this and make them two go together. I, I don't think these two statements that one USDT is always equivalent to one USD according to Bitfinex, not according to reality, and the fact that they are actually listing prices in USD, those two do not compute in my head. Because as I mentioned, if it is the case that I de deposit one tether, I get one US dollar on Bitfinex, I can buy cheap tether on other exchanges, deposit them to Bitfinex and get one dollar. And... Uh, in that sense inflate the prices but because it is practically usdt so anyway guys uh, this is my rant rant of the day hope you liked it smash the likes and see you all very very soon have a great day and goodbye guys goodbye goodbye